Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this uh, reel mower I'm working on. It's a McLean 20 inch five blade with the Briggs and Stratton 3.5 horse engine. This customer wanted a uh, new drive wheel, well, new, new front wheels as well. I've already changed those. Those are easy. I don't really need to make a video on how to change those, but there's two new front wheels. But the rear ones can be a little bit of a trick. Uh, these are worn out. As you can see, there's little to no tread left on them. Here's the new ones, replacements, and you can see there's tread. So uh, the reason to change them is because this chain will leave tracks in the lawn. You can see it's not, it's not flush yet, but very soon this will drag in your grass and it'll leave a line while you mow. So you have to change these wheels. Um, so what we do is you disconnect, there's the drop pivot right there, it comes off the handle, you pull the cotter pin out, then you, you remove it so that the, the, the wheel bracket drops like so. As you can see, I'm using a battery as a jack stand, safety first. And so anyway, you'll undo this half inch nut or a half inch bolt here, which is the slide adjust for the chain tension. And then at the back, you've got one, two more half inches. So there's two, three. And then this will basically just fall apart. And what you want to do is pull, pull this arm back, undo the chain, pull this axle that runs straight through out. This block of wheels will come out. And then it's got one, two, there's three, I believe there's seven sixteenths nuts and then there's long bolts that run all the way through this and there's a there's a metal uh, tube inside that slides down down through there these are sometimes hard to get onto that tube so when you do it don't use lubrication because it'll it'll not work unless if you use hairspray it'll work because it'll dry sticky um, the better way is just to leave these tires out in the sun for an hour warm them up and they'll expand just enough that they'll slip over the tube and you can line them up nicely and center things and then just throw it back together the same way. Put the caps on the ends, throw the ring gear, the three bolts, they go all the way through, one, two, three, tighten them up and then throw this back in, tighten up, tighten up, rehang your drive wheels, connect your chain and you're done. So that's how we, how we throw together the drive wheels on the back of these McLean mowers. Uh, thanks for watching.